Hey, today we're talking about an age-old woodworking dilemma, and that's how to scoop out a wooden chair seat so that it's comfortable. Come down here and look at this one. This is a chair we made a few years ago, and you can see how this is scooped out. You know, we affectionately call them butt scoops, but this is shaped out so that it's comfortable to fit your butt. So when you sit down and you sit on there, Man, that's nice. I could sit on this for a while. Okay, so here's the chairs that we're in the process of making. We have eight of these. This is seat number eight. And you see how flat it is. So we come over here and sit on this. Well, it'll be okay for putting your shoes on, but I'm not going to want to sit here very long. It needs to be scooped. So how do you scoop out this wood to do this? Okay, so over the years, years ago, people used things like draw knives that could... That, could, that, that you could use to try to pull out the shavings. And then along comes a radius plane. And the plane was a little better, a little more controlled to get those curves in there. And then spoke shaves. This one's a sharp radius. This one's a, a mild radius. You can use spoke shaves to get it. Still a lot of work. Then came along this Veritas tool that you could draw through. I don't even know what it's called. But uh, it's designed to do that. Okay, but all of these are a lot of work. So, we go into a little less work. We get what's called a Lancelot. And this is like a chainsaw blade that fits on the angle grinder. And you can use that to carve it out. Or, the Sir Galahad are these uh, abrasive wheels that can um, shape things very quickly. Very dusty, though. Or, you got the plain old um, flap sander. And that works really good, too. But all of these ways take a lot of result, it takes, takes a lot of work. And we found a way that it's enjoyable to do and you get perfectly matched um, reliefs to sit on each and every time. So I'd like to show you our method. Okay, so, so now we've shown all the ways that the guys can do this in the shop. So what do you think, Geneva? What's, what's, what's our really our favorite way of getting these done? Well, this method is going to separate the boys from the gals. Everything he suggested makes lots of noise and lots of dust. But let me show you what I'm going to do. Oh, what is that? Oh, that, that is self-adhesive sandpaper stuck over her pockets. Okay, let's see this in action. Okay, now, it helps here to have some fancy music going on, some nice salsa. It helps her keep up with that, that sanding process, getting it going. But because of YouTube copyrights, we can't have the music playing. Perhaps you could play your own music when you're doing this. So you just gently sand away, and now, for the sake of time, we'll jump through to the end. Now, here she is still sanding away, and it's been many, many minutes... But I think it's time for a test look to see how we're doing. Would you mind standing up, Geneva? That, that is looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. How's it feel? It feels wonderful. No noise, no dust, or very little dust. And they're all the exact same shape. Thank you for watching how we do butt scooping 101. 101.